Good evening, everyone. This is James Casey with PAC Photography, and I want to let everyone know thank you for uh, thank you for looking at all the uh, the pictures I posted. And on top of that, um, thank you for uh, for joining in and um, listening to this. So um, this is uh, video number two. So we're going to get into it pretty fast here. What we're going to use tonight, and what we're going to do, we have a special thing we're going to do. First of all, I want to show you what I did. We went out to dinner the other night, and I was like, you know what? Let's, let's make something really cool. So I was sitting there, and I was looking. I saw all these little flames and everything going down. And then it was a little, you know, it rained a little bit, so you have a little bit of drizzle. But tonight, I want to show you basically how to make something like this. But I'm not talking like, I'm talking about taking a picture, any picture you have, desaturating it, and then turning around and just doing whatever you want with it. Like if you want, say you have a child and it's a pretty good vibrant picture and you have a child sitting there or a toddler or whatever, and they have like, you know, uh, they're wearing something really nice and everything like that. What I like to do is um, I'll have a black and white, do a uh, black and white on it, and then I'll turn around and I'll desaturate it, and then I'll colorize it um, with a brush. And we're going to use the program Snapseed for that. Um, S-N-A-P-S-E-D is the app, Snapseed. So let's get on to it. You see this picture here. We can reproduce this picture or we can do another one. I think we're just going to reproduce this picture for tonight and um, have a little more time. We're going to try to do uh, we're going to try to do some other stuff. But for tonight, we're going to probably try this. Let's let's go and get into it. So first of all, let's open up our magic program, Snapseed. As you can see, I already did it right here. And um, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna open it up and we're gonna go right here and we're gonna go to the original. The original is right here. So um, let's try this. Okay, here's the picture that I used. Um, this is taken with the iPhone. Um, and um, it was iPhone Pro Max. So what we're gonna do is uh, in night mode, as you can see. First of all, we're started off with, I like to crop my pictures. And to do this, this is the program called Snapseed. So there's a lot of cool things you can do in this. Um, you have tuning your image, you have details, you have curves, you have white balance, and you have cropping. Rotate, you can rotate the picture around. Perspective, expand, select. You can select different areas. You can brush, like that's what we're going to definitely use that one. Healing tool, so after you mess it up, you can actually heal it, make it better. Um, and on top of that, you have HDR scape, glamour glow, my two to go to. And tonal contrast, drama, vintage, grainy film. And grainy film gets that movie movie effect to it. Retro, uh, The Retrolux uh, grunge effect gives you that like, walking dead kind of look for the grunge. It's pretty neat. Black and white, nor... Uh, and uh, portrait portraits basically used if you're uh, doing like port you have a person doing a headshot or something like that you can really clean it up you can change their facial complexion uh, complexion all kinds of stuff head pose you can change the way their head moves lens blur uh, vignette double exposure means you can take two different images and, and put them together we will go further in that later in detail um in further videos down the road, uh, text and frames. So what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna we're gonna start doing this picture. So let's do this. We'll go. We'll, we're gonna crop it. So Snapseed likes to automatically try to do a crop. You can go down here and do original. You can do like square. You can do like a seven by five, seven sixteenths, three two, and that would work. But I don't like that. I like to do my own cropping. So. If you look into this picture, you have these lights. So the thing is, I don't want the, all the lights. I just want to pull it over a little bit like that. And then I'll pull over a little bit like that a little bit. And, you know, I like that because it cuts it a little bit. 
So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and um, pull it a little bit there. We'll use that. I like that. The next step what we're going to do is we're going to turn around and we're going to use the brush tool. The brush tool is amazing. Um, like I said, you have your dodge and burn. I'm going to give you a little example of some of this stuff here. So we're going to go and we're going to drop it down and we're going to do a dodge. Look at that. It's going to make it darker right here. It's going to make it darker down here. It's going to make it darker here. But I ah, don't like that. So let's not deal with that. Let's go back to brush. And then you have your burn tool, which basically what's going to happen is it's going to burn. It's going to... I might have that opposite on there for you. Apologies. Got the little bit of sniffles here. Apologize. Anyway, this will brighten it up. Make it a little brighter. You know what? We might go ahead and just leave it bright, brighter like that. And what that does is um, it seems like they have an opposite on here. You have your dodge. Your dodge tool should be like your where you collar it up. It makes it brighter. The burn basically makes a burn and everything like that. So we're going to leave it like that for fun right now. But here comes the magic. Um, the magic comes, and you see you have exposure here. So we can basically take it, and we can totally just expose it right there. Just make it real darker. But I don't like that. So we erase it. And it's great for exposures to, uh, to give a good effect. So we go back here, and um, if you want to overexpose, <laughs> that's overexposing. So we're not going to do that, but so, and then we have temperature, the temperature. So if you want to change the temperature to it, and what it means by temperature, it means like let's dole it out. Let's make it cold, cold kind of color there, or we can go and we can do a, a warm, let's warm it up, warm up the image. But again, I don't, I don't want to do any of that because we're just going to desaturate it anyway. So we're going to go back to your brush tool here again, and then saturation. This is where the magic happens. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn around and we're going to... Go to here, and we're going to desaturate this whole image. And when I mean desaturate, we're gonna we're gonna take the saturation level down to the point like where there's this black and white movie thing going on. And what we're gonna do is we're desaturating. We're we're just going at it here. See, we're desaturating. There we go. All these lights, everything. And now, here comes the cool part. We're going to go in and we're going to erase what we just did on certain areas. Like this flame. This flame is like, hey, bring me a life. And we do. And there's lights up here. You see those? And I am using my finger right now, everyone, to... Let you know there. See, we're just gonna take all these little lights, anything that's lights, we're gonna make it happen. I don't like the Buffalo Wild Wing thing in the back being right there. Let's let's desaturate that. When you desaturate it, it makes it where you really don't see it if you put lights out and everything. You're not looking for that. You're gonna see you're gonna see lights. So what you're going to do is here, we got that, and then we got another light up here, there's a little flame there, another light there, another light there, just turn those lights on. And as we turn those lights on, its image will start popping out. And you can do this with all kinds of stuff. Stars are as amazing, black and white picture, and just drop those stars in there, and and you colorize them, they're amazing. 
and it doesn't take long to do it this way. You can do this actually in Photoshop too. Um, we will dwell further into Photoshop later down the line. And uh, once we get the hang of this stuff here, you're going to really, really, really thank me because Photoshop is basically close related. And we're just throwing it together here real fast. Whoops, see I made a mistake there. We don't want that in there. We want, we still don't want that in there. Go away blue. There we go. So we keep going here and um, let's see, we have light post here. So we have our light. Um, I'm going to keep looking for more light here. I know there's some more light around here somewhere. It's like playing Where's Waldo with light. So. There you go. So we have our light. Um, I do see a boo-boo in the background. Let's desaturate that. Feel that that's still colorized. Colorize, desaturate. So now, as you see, we have this really cool looking picture. Went from like this eh, picture to a wow looking picture here. Now, here comes the cool part. Now, what we can do is amazing things with this picture. We can go in and um, we let's let's brighten that up a little bit. Oops. If we wanted to, we can really uh, bring out the fire more. If you wanted to put more saturation into it, but I think we're good right there. So what we're gonna do next is we have this picture. Now we're looking at this picture. We're like, okay, we have this fire. Now what, James? So I like to bring out the detail. And what I did, just did right here, is I went and took detail right here and I pushed it up. Let's push it up a little bit. It's like that. Let's get some detail in there, just like that. And then from there, we're gonna do some HDR scape. But the HDR is too powerful. Oh man, so let's do this. Let's bring in a little bit of the, what we call it, the oomph effect, I call it. And then from there, we can go and we could go, hey, let's do a little vintage. We could go a little vintage on here if we wanted to. And then I'm like, ah, am I happy with that color of vintage? Maybe, maybe a little bit of twang into it or something, you know? You have to play with the controllers on here too on this. This thing is awesome. I've been doing it for over about a year and a half with Snapseed. But it is cool. So there you go, right there. So you know what? Now, now we drop in the glamour glow. And there's the glamour glow. So it as you can see you have the fire going, and you have that. So, but we can also do a vignette. You know, it makes it look like a yeah, like a movie a little bit. If we wanted to say movie, we can go grain. Do a grainy film effect. However, there's so much you could do with this thing. Um, so, I want to do something here. Let's export it. Let's save as a copy. Now, we learned the other day about um, superimpose, and we've learned about reflect, and then we learned about also um, the other one, which is, uh, oops, so many that I basically get I get confused. Um, not distress. Distress is another cool one. So uh, we can we can play with it. Um, that's what we can do. We use reflect. I really gotta get these organized. 
Um, all right. Let's see. Where are you at? Here's one I did earlier, right here. People like that one. But, however, going back to it, um, where is it at? Hold on a sec. Not distressed. Let's see. I'm looking distressed. Makes me stressed trying to find distressed. I'll let you know I have still not given up on the storm in the bottle. I am just waiting for a good storm to come through so I can get some fresh lightning strikes and everything. Oh my gosh. I apologize. Um, you're all seeing on my Facebook, and I apologize for that. Let's see. Let's go back to groups. Your groups. Let's see. I have distressed, and I had. Where is that other one? Well, we just don't worry about that. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll, we'll try Distress. I'll show you what Distress does. It's pretty neat, actually. You get Distressed effects. So you can do some really cool stuff in Distressed. But um, we're going to choose from a camera roll. We're going to use the picture that we just did. Just finish this guy right here. And we're going to hit Done. Okay, so what we can do with Distressed is really cool. You can do some really cool effect stuff right here. I mean, you can go in and do some really cool artsy kind of stuff. Make um, all kinds of art. The Distressed, um, it's it's pretty good app too. I've used it on many occasions. But um, as you can see, you have to buy the rest. And um, I use my overlays and Photoshop for that stuff. So we'll just do, um, let's do Reflect. Let's do Reflect. Our good old buddy reflect so what we'll do is we're going to go to photos and we use um the one we did and we're going to go and we're going to hit done and then from there we're going to go and um as you can see we can actually do some really cool stuff we can actually make it look like a flood if we wanted to um let's go to fx mode here and um, if we wanted to make those lanterns come out popping up in the back, we could always take um, light like this and actually brighten it up like that, which that's pretty cool. We'd have to make it smaller every time we go across, just like that, and smaller. We could actually make it where Can make it orby there and stuff we can go space object we could actually do this this would be really cool we could go and we can do it um stars let's do stars in the sky in the background that might be really cool we just need to put it behind the picture and could do like a warm effect. Let's do another layer. And uh, maybe we do like a cool looking, maybe green. We should totally Put a shooting star back there. That would be pretty cool.
That's what we'll do. We'll do a shooting star. That's pretty. I like that. And then um, from there, we'll, 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 we'll maybe we'll do reflect, and then we'll um, let's see what presets we can use. Let's let's make um, let's have some fun. Can make it where it looks like there's a, a fog, maybe some fog in this. But uh, we can always go with. Um, let's go with the oceans. Sometimes, uh. Sometimes we don't even have to use reflect at all, but I like using those little objects in the background with stars. Let's see. Could make a little water puddle like that if I wanted to. About my neck. That's interesting, though. 